Today's tutorial is about adding a tab when you're in um, a certain website. So for example, let's say that, oh, you are on the school's website. We've talked about a tutorial of how you could get to Odysseyware. You can go to Inner Lakes Elementary School. And of course you can scroll down and join Odysseyware. The K-12 is the site most of you are on. So let's say that we're on here, but all of a sudden you're like, oh, my teacher wants me to go on a Google Meet. If you look up here at the very top, you're gonna see that I'm on Odysseyware, but there's also a plus sign right here. I'm gonna click that plus sign and that gives me a whole new tab. And let's say that my teacher's like, hey, let's join a Meet. So I'm going to type in meet.google.com and I press enter and all of a sudden it gives me um, a different tab. So let's say my teacher wants me on at two o'clock, but it's not quite two. So I might toggle back over to my first tab, which has an Odyssey wear on it and maybe do a little work. And let's say that maybe my teacher has asked me to um, finish my diagnostic on IXL. So again, over here, I'm going to click on the plus sign and I might type in IXL.com and click on that. And then it takes me to IXL and up here is where I can log in. So again, up at the top, you can have more than one tab open. This works well if all of a sudden maybe you're wanting to research something. How to log in to Odysseyware. And perhaps you go to a YouTube channel or you can scroll down and look through some of those. The whole purpose to this is to teach you that you can have more than one tab open at a time. Happy learning!